President and the Foreign Minister have been at an annual conference of uh, ambassadors, Turkish ambassadors, who have flown in from around the world to discuss the uh, issues of the day. And the message they've been given is that the Turkish economy is in a strong position, that the uh, exchange rate will be back to a reasonable level in a short period of time, and that the reasons that the exchange rate is having a few problems are not down to economic reasons. The view of this government is that um, uh, the economy is currently under attack really from other countries that are trying to uh, stop it developing, trying to hinder it so that it will then, uh, Turkey will then be unable to develop in the way it sees fit. It will end up be becoming the victims of what the Turkish president called the uh, bullies of the global system. Just to give you an example of uh, what they're referring to, the kind of thing they're talking about, is the, um, the sanctions that were placed on the two Turkish ministers over the Andrew Brunson case. In that particular uh, episode, the two ministers didn't really suffer very much as a result of those sanctions, but the exchange rates uh, between the two countries, the Turkish lira, did suffer a lot. It did have an adverse effect at a time when the Turkish economy was already facing uh, quite a few significant challenges. Also, a legal investigation has been started connected to the state of the economy. What more can you tell us about that? Uh, yes, the Interior Ministry says it's uh, started an investigation into more than uh, 300 social media accounts on suspicion of uh, creating a negative image of the uh, Turkish economy. Indeed, in the President's speech today, he referred to these suspects as uh, economic terrorists who may possibly have, create, have committed um, treason. Now, it's obviously clear that the uh, Turkish government is saying that the economy is in a very uh, strong position at the moment, but I think on top of that, uh, there are a number of concerns for Turkey here. It doesn't want to create a feeling of panic among the, uh, the uh, population in Turkey and also create more problems with the international financial system on the basis of uh, effectively false information. Just to give you an example, uh, earlier on, the uh, Turkish finance minister had to come out and deny that there were uh, plans to seize some bank deposits and also uh, convert foreign currencies in bank accounts into the Turkish lira. Uh, and I think that's just one of the examples of where reports on social media or other sections can uh, sometimes take on a life of their own. And the Turkish government uh, quite clearly wants to uh, put a stop to some of that.